Good evening. That breaking news alert. Jacksonville police investigating after a murder suicide on the west side, leaving three people dead and two critically injured. In the last 30 minutes, Jacksonville police they're now saying that they believe that the shooting was not a random act. Investigators are uncovering that the shooter had a previous relationship with one of the five victims. It has been an active scene since 3 a.m. Police were called to the shooting on Brian Lakes Drive just off of Normandy Boulevard. The shooting happened inside a home. We're covering the shooting from a number of angles. And News for Jacks reporter Destiny McKeever is live on the west side near the home. Destiny, police have released new details on the people killed and the shooter. Janice, that is correct. New details coming out within the last 30 minutes or so, but I do want you to take a look at the scene right now. We do have one police cruiser outside of this home. You should be looking at on the right side of your screen there, and we have several cars parked in the driveway here just to show you how many people were inside of this home at the time of this incident. What we do know so far is that it is currently being investigated as a murder-suicide with four victims and one suspect who shot him himself here at the scene. It appears the suspect was known to at least one of the victims by way of previous dating relationship. The suspect Jacoby King is reported to have dated Ryan Chesser in the recent past, though they were not at this time. It is believed that after seeing Chesser while out hours earlier, King went to Chesser's home and ambushed the group. After shooting the four victims, it is believed that King turned the firearm on himself, taking his own life. The deceased victims have been identified by police as Ryan Mark Chesser, who is 33 years old, Eric James Bryant, 32 years old, and that suspect has been identified by police as well as 26-year-old Jacoby Lamar King. As we get new details in this, we will continue to update you throughout the night, but we have been speaking to many residents in this area, and so many of them are shocked to hear of this news. Again, as we get more, more information, we will continue to update you. Reporting live from the west side, I'm Destiny McKeever, Channel 4, the local station. Very disturbing story. News for Jack's reporter Brittany Muller spoke with neighbors as they woke up this morning to find police investigating that crime scene outside of their homes. We spoke with a neighbor who says a sister and two brothers live at the home. They're in their late 20s, early 30s. The neighbor tells us the group was on their way home from a club when the shooting began. This is really shocking to me to find out that this happened. And what did you hear? I, heard, I didn't hear the shooting, but I heard the sister crying, saying that I don't believe he's dead. The other young lady was telling her, stop saying that, and she was devastated. She cried and screamed out loud to the top of her voice this morning for about an hour. Mary lives two doors down from what JSO is calling a murder suicide involving five people, which includes the shooter. They keep to themselves, they speak, they do the yard work. It's never any commotion, there's a lot. You know, they have company, they have visitors, but as for commotion and police call, they're no. Before one of the victims was transported to the hospital, the victim told police who shot her. JSO believes the shooter was one of the people found dead inside of the home. Good neighbors never cause any problem and it's shocking to see this this morning. JSO says there is some kind of relationship between the five people involved, including the gunmen. We'll keep you updated as we learn more and as JSO continues their investigation. Reporting from the West Side, Brittany Muller, Channel 4, The Local Station.